All right, people. Welcome back. More time in the Sorry, it's late. Just busy with things, and I'm tired. But we'll go ahead and get through this. We're using that great all you bell. So you know the use. Just go ahead and uh, lock down my opponent, take their monsters, and do all them great plays that we love to do. So hopefully, we open up okay. Yeah, we opened up fine. Yeah, one cobra is good. I have a feeling that my opponent here is probably using something sacky, but, yeah, I'm not too positive. Got Cobra, probably one of the best Gradle monsters, just because it has so many synergy with the chat cards and stuff. You know, they're all good in their own ways, but I'd probably say Cobra's my favorite out of the three. You know, because it'd be so cool to just go ahead and activate, like, a Oasis Sun the Mirror or something, summon Cobra the Magical Planter, and then, of course, these cards are ifs, they don't miss time, you start a separate chain, so that's nice. Like I said, please don't tell me you're using something sucky here. Mr. Josh Behai, Behi, or whatever. I would really like to get my duel on, and, you know, you're just looking like you're being something sucky, so. If you would like to go ahead and uh, go, then that would be great. You know, the quicker that we get our duel on, the quicker I can go ahead and uh, end this video, get it render uploaded, and uh, take a nap. I'm, I'm really tired. I'm really tired. Yeah, it looks like, it's looking like something sacky. So I'm guessing, I'm assuming maybe it's like, it's not Exodia. It's either Burn or some kind of chicken game, chicken race, FTK, whatever. It's looking like Burn. It's looking like something that I want to see. So I said, when that Into the Void goes off and you have to pick, pitch your hand. Okay. Same. Yeah. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Fucking. Oh my god. What the fuck was that? Fucking. Wow. Hey, someone duel me. Duel me. Play the game of Yu Gi Oh against me. Whatever sacky shit you were trying to do. That was stupid. That was fucking retarded. Mm 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 mm. Damn. Alright. Oh, I mean, I can get my Gradle on. Set that. Set that. Parasite? Parasite's good. Impact's good. The only reason why I didn't play Impact and get my search and face is because I don't like revealing my deck too early. You know, I'd rather go ahead and wait a turn before going too in. Mm hmm. Alright. Oh. Let's see how this goes down. I don't feel like this duel is going to go down well just because, you know, I mean, come on, it's Tona, so the deck's like 1.5. I'm using slow-ass gradles. I'm slow-ass gradles compared to fast Teller Knights. Well, Teller Knights aren't... They're just really good at keeping up with resources. So, I don't think the duel is going to go too well. Although, if he does come after my Cobra, that would be fantastic. Mm-hmm. What? Make a plain mistake in Teller Knights. Like, wh what is that? What is that? What is that, huh? What is that? What's wrong with you? Yep, set that vanity, set that call, set that nova, set that, that, set that, set that, set that, set that, set that. Like I said, Teller Knights are just really good, and he's clearly going to be able to outpace me. Weird enough. Trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm definitely gonna just play impact and just keep on getting my teller knights. Give me your Deneb. Shit. Nigga, give me your Deneb. Any day now, any century. You can give me that fucking Deneb.
Okay, this is stupid. Ah! Give me a duel. Fuck. I wouldn't mind doing Tunnel Knights if you would just fucking play the game. I hate these people just sitting here doing nothing. Like, please, just duel me. The quicker I get this done, the quicker I can go take a nap. I'm tired. So tired. I'm sitting here dealing with fucking scrubs. Terrible hand, but drew all bell and bells right there. That's just fucking fantastic, now isn't it? Said I don't like to play Gradle Impact too early because I don't like revealing my deck. Dad 100. All right. I said, Grails are good, I just don't think they're going to be good, you know. You resolve your effect, but I still take your monster. Just because they're really slow, like really slow. Alright. I said, you would have been fine. You still had plays out the ass, so. Your rank 4 deck would have been definitely able to outpace me. And I didn't even open up that well either. I opened up with two dead cards. I essentially should have just drew three cards instead of five. Like, no, you were good. You, you just you just saw Gradles and you're like, fuck it, I quit. Like, okay. I said, you've been fine. You still got your search. I like, took your monster, but you still had plays. Still had plays out the ass, so. Alright, uh, fuck it. I'll go ahead and search for. I don't even know what's in here. Gets his Armageddon Knights and stuff. Is Dark Reffer in here? There's one Dark Reffer. There's one Dark Reffer. I'll go ahead and take him, I guess. Not opened up fantastic and yet. I love how I opened up with like multiple forms of Ubell and but at least I'm okay because I still have Gradle cards. Now I open up with fucking just no Gradle cards. Okay, fucking split. What's good what's good if split if I can't do anything with with it? Probably should have kept one of these in my hand. Probably split, but it's not bad. I mean, I can turn arm get a knight into a nineteen beater, so turn in your main phase. This card is equipped to a monster by its own effect. You can send this card to a graveyard, destroy the equipped monster, and if you do, special summon two greater monsters with different names from your deck, but they're destroyed during the end phase. Not bad. So I can go ahead and just play split. Get my arm again, and I, I'm gonna keep this. I'd rather go ahead and just draw with your Santa Claus. Nice, Dustin's. Yeah, I'd rather go ahead and keep your Santa Claus. Thinking, oh, I'll give me my Santa Claus back. No. <laughs> yeah, you can have that. I don't like Dustin's either. Misses timing. Uh, it doesn't resolve because I act. I summon Armageddon Knight. Then I chain resolve backwards. So I, you have to recreate yourself. I chain Oasis. Summon Armageddon Knight. And no, no, no. So I'm just gonna say no. It's not if this card is summoned. It's when this card is summoned. So I think Armageddon Knight misses timing. Look, huge. If there's something that resolves after Armageddon Knight. Because it doesn't start a separate chain as an if monster. How do you draw? I control it. What? No. That's the whole point. That's the exchange of Santa Claus. 
You summon to my side of the field and it resolves on my side of the field, so I draw a card. Why do you why would you draw a card? Why would you draw a card? It's I draw a card. This summon is like during this end phase turn, you can draw a card, as in me, because it's I control the monster. That's the exchange of Santa Claus. You summon it to my side of the field, but I resolve it. Thank you. Stupid. I'm the control of the card. I draw, not you. Draw. That's that's what makes the fucking shit fair. And what do I want to do with this card? There's not much I want to do with him though. What's this say? Can I just, cannot be used to when this when it's face up card while this card is it cannot be attributed, okay, when this card is destroyed, the controller that's me. Targets one spell or trap card they control and return that to the hand. Wait, or would I think it resolves in his graveyard, right? I think yeah, yeah. I kinda just wanna go ahead and activate Griddle Split. I kinda just wanna activate Griddle Split and summon my two Griddle monsters. I'll go ahead and summon Slim and who's the tuner? You're the tuner. And uh, Cobra. I'll just single them because they're going to be destroyed during the end phase anyway. Uh, you're kind of useless, you're kind of useless, you're kind of useless, you're kind of useless. There's not a lot of good stuff here. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and go into Great Old Dragon. In fact, I'll go ahead and destroy my Armageddon Knight. Could have fucking did the thing, but I'm okay. Fuck it, I don't even care if he does damage off of Claws. I'm getting more damage in now. And said, I do not like, for the love of God, I do not like fucking... What's it called? Dustin's. Split is a good card. They're all good cards. I, I don't know how many times I've said that, but Dustin's... I mean, Dustin's... Gradles have good cards, just they're slow. You know, they are pretty slow. Instead, I would not be su surprised if he just summons house. Okay. Like, really? Why would you think that you drew the card? Like, that would be stupidly unfair. Like, that's the exchange. You trivial one of my monsters and summon to my side of the field, but then I get to draw the card. I, I, I mean, like I said, Nick Santa Claus is decent. If it, if it, it'd be fucking hell of busted if it was the other way around and he drew the card. Like, no, no, no. I control the card. I resolve the effect. That shit out of here. Trying to be cute, trying to take my monsters, give my monsters, take my monsters, give my monsters. His hand is booty. His hand is fucking poop ass. Like any any fucking monster been good. I'm getting night fucking one of the great all monsters. Anything, but this this is just fucking booty and a half. Like what the fuck? Open up straight garbage. And this deck is slow too, so that is not good. And I opened up just hot fucking garbage. Close out the fucking Santa Claus ruling. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. This is bad, duh. Because I opened up like ass. And if I don't draw a great old monster, then I pretty much lose. I pretty much lose. At least... They're probably going to Beals instead of going to Baxia. If I set some back row shit, he would definitely go into Baxia. But now at least maybe he'll go into Beals. Maybe I can go ahead and survive enough to go ahead and summon a great old monster, attack into him, and take it. That'd be great, but... Ugh. Great old you... <laughs> Yang Zing, you both tomorrow. Like, fucking... I just open up, like, ass and half. Sometimes I just open up ass. Just absolute ass. I run, like, 20 monsters. Don't get none of them. Like, that's Yu-Gi-Oh for you. Yeah, there's skill in Yu-Gi-Oh, but there's a lot of luck, too. 
way too much luck for my taste. Yep. Some Sawani, some Baxia, I mean Bixie. Going to Beals probably. I open up just ass. Thirty five hundred bills, yep. It's unaffected by traps, yep. Oh, yep. That's thirty five. And he got Book of Moon to stop my fucking plays. I That's bad. That's bad. I'm probably gonna lose. Well, this card is equipped. Yeah, I'm gonna let fuck it. I'm gonna go ahead and push. Even if he has Book of Moon and shit, I can always just summon back my monster and wastes because I know he's gonna Book of Moon his Beals. That's gonna be obvious. So let's see if I can bait the Book of Moon out. And if he Book of Moon's my alligator now, then I'm still there. That's the problem. He still has to deal with me. Like I think that's 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 the big problem that he's gonna be facing is that he still has to deal with me. Unless he somehow opens up super well and can go off for more plays. But you know, you still gotta deal with me. So your book of boon pretty much just po postponed, but I'm gonna take you eventually. God I wish I had my fucking impact. Riddle impact, top deck, go. Yes! Yes! <laughs> now I don't have to take all that damage. So good. Whoop summon. So good. That's right, Gretel Impact. Uh. Oh. Forest. Forest Effect. Destroy. Destroy. Damn, and he got fucking Book of Moon too. Get it? I'm not even sure if I should kill his monster just because he floats so well. Like I said, this deck is slow. This deck is super slow, so going against an opponent like him is not good. It is not good at all. I'm slow. Yep. We both kind of float in our own special way. Or don't you think you should say effect? Actually, he hasn't said effect all duel, so. So I guess if he gets rid of my alligator. I don't know where you're going with that. Book of Moon, Bottomless, or Gekki? Number Generator is strong. Like, I don't know where you're going with that. Obviously, you should know that Regeki doesn't work on Bill, so I don't even know what the fuck you're doing. That was dumb. Go ahead and quit. Go ahead and quit. Sure. One more duel. Because that was just dumb. Like I said, he just threw the cards at me. And so that Book of Moon... That Book of Moon was dumb. <laughs> I said, if I take his bills, if I crashed and took his bills, and he book a moon did, I would get unequipped, but I think I'd still control the bills. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how great all is working. You guys tell me. In the comment section below, tell me. If I go, if I take his bills with Alligator, and then he book a moon's his bills, do I, get, do I keep the monster, or does he get it? Last duel. Either way, you know, bottomless, book a moon, or Gaki in the first couple opening cards. It's generator for you. I opened up like straight stupid and he opened up beautiful. He opened up with the fucking the fucking Gia combo and back row to back him up and shit. Like he opened up just mwah. This hand's kinda shitty too. One one Yep. I don't wanna do nothing with anybody. Okay, I guess I'll just go ahead and summon Dark Ruffer. I'm gonna summon. Okay. Fuck it. I only run one Dark Ruffer just as a peacekeeper for when I drew, draw you bell like I did that previous duel, but, you know. 
There's no peacekeeping right here. This is just me drawing Dark Greffer and doing nothing with him. So I guess I'll just go ahead and attack. No. Wow. Yangzings again. Two Yangzings. That is crazy, people. That is fucking crazy. Two Yangzings. Go ahead and set that. Set that. And then my turn. Looks like I got Parasite. That's not bad. Split's good. Parasite's good. Impact's good. It's all good. Oh, it doesn't even turn on going off this turn. You can grab that. Those, all three of those cards are really good. All those cards. All those cards are good. All right, gotta take that Gia. Ch -ch -ch Gia. Don't summon it this turn and try to go for like a Goyo Guardian. Yeah. Don't do it. You're all looking in your extra deck. No. No. Forget you activated pot? Of course you did. Don't they all? No, you can't special summon. You just uh, you just activated pot. You went pot, grab Gia, and then you're like, you can't special. You just activated pot. Like, come on, man. Come on. You went pot, grab the Gia. And you're like, oh, summon Gia sink. Like, no, 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 no. You can't special. <laughs> Only special people think that they can special after they play pot. <laughs> now, come on, man. Pot? Duality? You just... Duality? You just used it. You just used it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, right. No. No. Sure, I'll let you cheat. Some of the monster in attack mode, and I should be a rule shark, but fuck it, I don't care enough to do it. All right, I think about taking his monster, but I'm not sure. I have a feeling he's gonna go into like Goya Garden or something, but I'll just go ahead and take the little slow. I said I don't feel like really revealing my deck too fast right now. I'd rather go ahead and get him nice and calm. Actually, you know what? That was bad because if he summons fucking B Baxia, I mean Bixie, he can go into uh, what's it called? No, he's just gonna go into Goya Garden. Mm-hmm. I don't even remember him having three. Oh yeah, Chi Wen. I forgot about him. Alright, so how would this go? Goyo has to remain on this on the field to resolve his effect, but I'm gonna take Toy Torn priority, so I would get my effect first. Uh, player turn priority. Player, player turn priority. So you are one, and I am two. That's the only time priority is still a thing. He'd rather go ahead and just get rid of his own shit than allow me to have it. Fuck it, I'll just start pecking your eyes out with Eagle. Didn't they put the Bridge Dragon back up to three on the ARG's list? I really want to promote that synchro play. And one for one is back at two. I hear G plus. Go ahead. I thought you were going to maybe summon a Bixie and go for Baxia. That would have been bad. That would have been pretty bad because you would have spent back all my back row. 
Maybe my monster and my back row. My butt and my crack. I would've been screwed. My back. <laughs> I'm done. That's what makes it really interesting, is that if this equip, you know, this card leaves the field, destroy the equipped monster. So I get to just pop your shit. I think I'm maybe summoning the British Dragon and just going for fucking my dragon, bouncing him. Like, you're not that useful. You might be useful later, but right now you're really not. Shit, I might even actually just take you. With the power of Cobra, since Cobra doesn't miss timing. So I have a feeling that it's probably going to be... Going with some booty. Oh, she won. Alright. Well, you go ahead and resolve that, girlfriend. Like I said, this deck is slow. And I'm also versing a deck that's slow, so this duel is going to be slow. <laughs> We're both pretty slow decks. Hmm. I said, if I allow him to keep the Gia, he's gonna fuck me up with it, so I'd rather just go ahead and take it. Which, of course, I can. destroyed by Call of the Haunted. I'd rather go ahead and take that Gia. They don't miss timing. That sucks that I don't have five. You get it though. You get the effect. Oh, in this card you control. You didn't control it, so it doesn't resolve the effect. Okay. I'll use that. Uh, I don't. I don't think you get it. You don't. You didn't control it. When this card you control, you didn't control it. Hmm. I go ahead and just send you Bell. I've been normal summon this turn, have I? No, I haven't. So I'm gonna go ahead and send you Bell. Uh, oh. I have the limit reverse, but I also still have the Cobra and Grave. I have. Uh, I said I need. I just need to get rid of that Gia. Cause that Gia, pitch, pitch, summon, summon, go into Baxia, fuck me up. Like no, thank you. I'm good. Probably said to fight the road of the deck them too. I said this duel is just bad just because I'm so slow. So fucking slow. I'm like <sighs> painfully slow. So you, do you really not have anything? That's really shocking. Well I'm getting all these rotas and shit, like Rota, Armageddon Knight, Armageddon Knight, Rota. I said I need a push. It. Send you send all two nightmares. I'll draw that. Air force? Or are you just gonna take the damage? No, you're gonna take the damage. So that's twenty eight plus fifteen. I don't believe I have any XCs that can really do much. I mean emeralds, meh. I mean, you're meh. Just meh. Nah, there's no one I want to use right now. Ah, uh, go ahead. Say, is that like a revival card? That'd be pretty good if you took the damage and then played the revival card during the end phase, because you know main phase two, I would have cast that would be like damn straight. Damn straight. Set more back row. Oh, Brook Charge. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. He can't go for Maxia. He can go for Hot. What are you doing? What are you doing? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Stop. 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 If you control no other monsters, you would control that Goyo Guardian, fool. Like, damn. This man is just fucking up Yang Zings. It's actually kind of painful. It's actually kind of painful how much he's fucking up Yang Zings right now. Hurt your soul. <laughs> yes. That's fine. You can go for Hot. Hot wouldn't be bad. No, actually, Hot would be terrible. Soul Charge, you can't attack. I, I, he's, he's hurting me. He's hurting me. It hurts, Rennie. It hurts. Hurt your soul. Yeah, it does. He's just, he's, he's so bad right now. He just keeps on fucking up over and over and over. He's drawing. He's drawing your soul. I'll do you back. Sure. So if I attack its player turn priority, so it will go Goyo Guardian, equal effect, and I would miss. So I need him to kill me. Could use the Bruise Dragon. No, I need Alligator. Hmm. I could just normal summon it actually with Eagle. But what do I want to do? Could use Moonlight, but what would Moonlight do? Actually, Moonlight's actually pretty good against him. Like, oh my god, Moonlight's fucking good. This card's plus some over 500 months, just plus some of your opponents out of field. You can go ahead and target and bounce. So, actually pretty good. I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. Normal summon. Moonlight. Back. That back in your hand. And your extra back. Kill the Gia. Because I'd rather have Gia gone. Hmm. I said I'd rather have Gia gone, but it's cool. You can only use this effect of Moonlight once per turn, so. What's this card say? Okay. I said, yeah, I'd much rather have Geo gone than Geo here. Might as well have to make this Rota and Dex in, even though at this point it's really redundant. It's really extremely redundant. So, even if he sinks, I'm just gonna bounce. Although he can go for Black Rose. I can't stop that. That's probably what he'll do. Just go for Black Rose. Well, now he's not. I'll just set some back row. He's just gonna go for Black Rose. Might go ahead and take this. Won't be bad to go ahead and take this. Just go ahead and summon alligator, impact, destroy that, take that. Does that have to be a face-up card? Yeah, that's to be a face-up monster. I don't know what this monster is, but you tribute set. That's that's bad. Oh, it's another one of him. Definitely another one of him. Greater impact. First effect. Destroy. Destroy. This duel is really slow. I said it's probably another one of him because I know he had another one of him in his hand. I 
I only play one Castell and shit, so. God, I'm still just doing nothing. I already know what it is, but fuck it. Might as well just go ahead and be flipped. Oh, they're coming from my way. It's interesting, he's playing Zeph. I don't really like Zeph. I mean, it's cool that you get to go ahead and search for creation and stuff, but I've just never been a big fan of him. This duel is taking forever because we're both really slow. Excuse me. Don't you dare say Zephyr a fret. Because it wasn't in your monster zone. Oh, yeah. Yep. yep. You don't get effect though. You get the first one now. You get. Uh, yep. You get one. You get the one on your side of the field's effect. But you don't get fucking uh, the one that I had. Brutality. What the fuck? Okay. Look how slow this duel is going. Like, incredibly slow. Oh, fuck it. Let's bring you Bell into this duel. He's already used two MSTs, so fuck it. At this point, I don't care. Another impact. I can only use one impact per turn, so... Terror in my graveyard, or is it still in my deck? Nope, still in my deck. So if I summon this on again, and I he ain't doing shit. He ain't gonna do shit. The duel is just so fucking slow. I'll go ahead and get my search on during the end phase. It's uh, I'm, I mean, he still has all his Yangzing monsters and shit. Like this duel is just fucking just terrible slow, terribly slow. Set this as a bluff. Matter of fact. Damn. Okay. Double creation. Duel is so slow. So I guess I'm assuming backs here. But he's still in trouble though. He's still in trouble, but I did not plan on this video being fucking 40 minutes long, but that's what happens when you do it against Zing Zing versus fucking Gradles. The duel just goes slow. They float. I take. But it's so slow. So, uh, Baxia, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Going to Baxia. Spin back 3. Yep. 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 Hmm. Okay. Deck, top of the deck, top of the deck, shuffle. Mm-hmm. I said he might have this just because of the multiple creations. But we all know no creation's fucking really fucking good. And Baxi is not even once per turn, is it? No, it's not. So yeah, he might have this.
We already know Creation's hella fucking good. He didn't even really, he didn't even search for Creation, he just drew into it. Like, that's the crazy thing. Like, that's the crazy thing. He just naturally drew into these creations. He didn't even search for them. He played fucking, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Him. Zephyr. But he didn't, he didn't even fucking drew, search. I was like, I was like, wow, you'd rather search for your fucking card than Creation? That's interesting, to say the least. Yep, another back seal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. I just got outplayed. I'm too slow. I couldn't take him. That's 28, 28. Should have this. Andy has his counter trap card. I mean, his battling trap card. Because if I even drew my fucking uh, impact again, I could just play it and fucking destroy my alligator. But now it's just it's too much. Too slow. Christian's too fast and I'm too slow. God, it sucks that he dark hold my fucking moonlight. Actually, you know what? I probably should have played a revival card on the moonlight. That was my misplay. Could have bounced one of the backs. I still would have got spun, though. He was still technically synchro summoned. So, unless I had something to completely and utterly stop his synchro summon, like maybe like a Crimson Blade or something. But I didn't. 28, 28. Well, let me just go ahead and see my next card. Yeah, you got it. Alright, people. I'm going to go ahead and call it. Sorry, he had double creation. I mean, even one creation is OP, but I destroyed one and he just outpaced me. I'm too slow. I didn't have any responses. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of I don't know why. Apologize if it's long, but what do you expect? Double Yang Zing? Like, come on. I get it, Jeff Jones is getting popular, but seriously, like, stop. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and surprisingly, I'll see you guys tomorrow with the Anxiety Bell. Alright, people, thanks for watching.